Hello everyone. Welcome to Real Talk with Grace. I'm of course Grace Akonubiar, the presenter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I believe we are all fine. We are doing well at this critical time and that we are praying for our country, our elders, our community and everyone there. I believe that we are pushing on. We are having that strong heart that we are going to overcome this pandemic. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video. I'm so grateful and I'm so humble, guys. Thanks so much. Yeah. In our today topic, I'm going to talk about effects of dowry payments in our marriages in our in our relationships how does it affect the youth how does it affect girls how does it affect young men how does it even affect our community at large and here yeah, i will start with how it affects women and girls yeah a young girl who have been working hard, who have been trying her best to ensure that she become a better woman in future, to become an independent woman in future. A young lady who always work hard in school, when a man who has dowries come in and ask for her hands in marriage, the parents won't look at, at the way the girl has been committed to school. Nobody will see that. They will only see the cows, the amounts of cows, the amount of money, uh, I mean the number of cows, the amount of money, and how many BHCs is he going to provide to that family. I don't know if our family, of our parents have ever looked at it this way. I have seen several girls, several ladies have got married. But when I look at the families, the families are still poor. I mean like, they're still living the normal life. Nothing has really changed, actually. So this young girl will be will be posed to the to the that man, either he's old or middle age or whatever. She will be forced to that marriage. A marriage that she has no clue about. A man that she have not dated. A man that she doesn't know the personalities. When they start their family, there will be a lot of ups and downs. A kind of a lot of difficulties. The girl will try to understand the young man as the man try to understand the the lady. Something that is difficult. Again, it affects girl life in this way. A girl wouldn't have any says in that marriage because she was like any other good that was being bought in the market. She's like any other bag of rice or any other bag of sugar. Because if you were if you were married to all those cows, all those uh, all those money and all those things that you know, and then you don't need to even talk. You don't need to say anything. A man will treat you like the way it pleases him, and that's why most of the dinka women doesn't always have says. This is how it affects all the youth in general, one women's. There are no many marriages anymore, because if a young man, a graduate, try to try to ask a girl as in marriage, the parents will ask, "How many cows do you have?" Just imagine a graduate who just finished at the university, he is not even working. Maybe he have fifteen cows or ten cows. People will see him care and chinom chokol. They will name him. All those names that. That sweet the heart. So that man will be abused. That man will be beaten. It will even cause fight. So now it has reached to a point where even young men fear marriage. Even if a girl say, man, Aki, I need to get married this year. <laughs> man will be like, mm -mm, I'll attack it. I'll think about it. Simply because he's not ready to withstand all the abuse. If maybe he decided to wait the girl, and then other competitors will come in and and marry her with and compete with him, and win the parents' heart. That's how it all goes. So now, if we look at it, most of girls are reaching thirty-five, forty. They're not getting married, not because they don't have boyfriends. They have boyfriends. 
but their boyfriends have nothing. And parents who not accept anyone who has no many dowries. See how it is going to affect our population in future parents. It affects the trust of the girl and the man. Assume your daughter has dated a man for five years, four years. And then later you force the young girl to marry another man. That girl will always have stress, mental stress. She will still always think of that man. And the man at the same time will be worried of if he can date another girl and that girl will be forced to marry another man. It will be very hard. It will take time for both of them to heal. And that's why sometime now, most of South Sudanese marriages are not working. Because it was all about force. And anything that you do by force, it will never work. Things to do with love are things that are handled with care and understanding. You cannot come in as a parent and tell someone to marry the other person whom she doesn't love. Love is not something that is learned. Love is something that comes out of heart. Parents, you need to look at that. It is going to affect our population in future, I mean. Look at it. If a young man come and present that little that he has, please give him a chance. Look at his dreams. Look at his vision. Look at it. Look at his, uh, like, his thoughts, personalities. Don't look at how much he has. Young men are really going through a lot. They're really going through hardship. And parents, why are you doing that? Are they not your children? Can you always accept that little that he has? Because you are not a child. You we have to sometime it will be okay. We need to take care of our daughters. Give us a chance, parent. Give us a chance to always have our boys in our marriages. Don't just force us. Don't just force us into marriages that we don't know. Don't just force us to marry men who are strangers to us. Give us a chance to be independent women. Give us a chance to study. Give us a chance to work. Give us a chance to be better women to be independent women don't just force us into marriages that will lead to divorce we need that parents you need to do something as a community you need to do something as government these things need to be handled well because for sure we are going through a lot and we are losing a lot as girls and young and young men of south sudan look at it it is not everybody who is rich in south sudan Some of young men are struggling. And after 20 years, parents, they will give you what you want. Give us a chance, please, we beg. We need to be better women. We need to be women of visions. We need to be women of dreams. We need to be independent women. But we can't get when we are being forced into a relationship that we don't want. We can't, we can't become independent women when we are not allowed to have better education. To women, always work hard. Always dream bigger. Always have that kind of thoughts. Always work hard. Work extra harder. Be friend with your father or your mother. And always try to explain to them what you like. To young men, I know you guys are going through a lot. In this kind of marriages, I know you are going through a lot. All men are taking your girlfriend. Something that is not good. Work hard. And always dream big. I love you all. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it. If you like it, share it. Leave a comment below and please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Danny211. And never forget to click on, on the notification bell for timely updates on more inspiring, cultural, entertaining, and educational content. Thank you. Bye.